in the presence of a legend. Has Sebastian got what it takes to be the first to complete it? You can't catch me. This inspiring story starts on May 27, 1974 in Paris, France. Each time Sebastian did something, it was preparing him for the future. He quickly learned of his fear of heights and found a love for Dragon Ball Z. In the 90s, Sebastian decided to express himself through an innovative sport called parkour. Being one of the first to live and breathe parkour with a dozen of young men in leashes in every France, through the art of movement, Sebastian started to become stronger physically and mentally. This group of tracers was incredibly hard to join and stay a working part of. This left Sebastian with a big problem, his fear of heights. Every member of this group had to work on the same jumps and learn the same skills, with absolutely no excuses. If Sebastian didn't want to do a certain jump, because of his fear, he had to work twice as hard to keep up with the other athletes. If he didn't do the jump, he would hinder the group and Sebastian would be kicked out. Parkour started as a game of ninjas and superheroes with this group of children. The older they got, the scarier and harder challenges became. To stay part of the group, Sebastian had to free his mind so he could keep the freedom he desperately needed, and most importantly, not lose his inner child. This group of tracers was soon named the Yamakaze and is responsible for the sport we have today. After learning and growing with the team, Sebastian had still not found his limits, so Sebastian leaves the Yamakaze in search of a new plan to truly pass his limitations. Coming up with free running, or parkour with flips, this changes training from efficiency based to creativity focused. In 2003, Jump London, a documentary showed Sebastian and three French freerunners doing their discipline in London's greatest architecture. Sebastian was able to teach the world what freeing your mind is. This video showed the world what it means to not be confined by your environment, and the video was popular enough to get a sequel, Jump Britain, this time being with Sebastian Fukan and Urban Free Flow, a popular parkour team, and boom. Parkour had exploded, leaving Sebastian even closer to his goal. Sebastian started to be put in countless ads for his stunts, was chased by an angry chicken, and was soon going to be in a James Bond movie, Casino Royale. This is where Sebastian would have to face his biggest test yet, having to do stunts in a James Bond movie, and then Sebastian could be triumphant. Everything was going perfectly, until Sebastian Fukan learned about his first stunt, jumping from one crane to another crane extremely high in the air. Sebastian's fear of heights was getting in the way of his success, but he was not going to let that happen. To beat his fear, Sebastian had to ask himself three questions. What am I risking? Why am I doing this? And how is my ability to stay focused? After reflecting, Sebastian felt ready and decided to get used to the crane's environment. He climbed around the crane with strong focus and determination and was ready. Sebastian had to become less afraid of being afraid to find success. Beyond his parkour and freerunning feats, Sebastian is a hero in many other ways. He is a father and a firefighter, a humble and wise soul who inspires millions. His story teaches us the importance of imagination and the power of pushing our boundaries, both physically and mentally. Thank you, Sebastian Fukan, for being a true inspiration to all of us.